Right, guys, welcome back to another In The Rough podcast. And this week, it is our Ryder Cup special. Obviously, all the build-up's been going on, and it officially kicks off tomorrow. So, obviously, there's Europe, Europe, a, a lot of excitement. And oh. Not much work going to be done tomorrow, which has one o'clock. It might as well stop working. So, <laughs> is the plan. But we're going to throw it open, and we're going to debate. We're going to cover who we think the pairings are going to be, obviously overall outcome, probably look at the best and worst players, surprise packages, but then also why Europe are going to win. So, go on, we'll throw it open. Go on, Tom, kick us off. Because they're friends. <laughs> <laughs> they all get on with each other, whereas the USA don't. Yeah. <laughs> Reason number one. Reason but- number two, it's a Lynx golf course. It's cold and windy. <laughs> I can't believe they've America. chosen a course that they just can't play. Bryson on his practice round today hit about four drives in, and the wind just took him like 50 yards offline. And you're just like, I mean, it's, right, it, mate. It's, it's a peat dye track. So, uh, yeah, you know, it should, 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 should make for good, uh, good, 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 good watching. I think they're far better than us. On individual talent, which oh, they yeah. always are, Massively. but well, even got, more it, so this year than other previous years. Mm. I think we, it, well, we need to be winning into the singles. Otherwise, the the, the the average ranking uh, of per player is so much better for the uh, for the Americans and the than, yeah. than the Europeans. We've got one inside the top ten. They've got six inside the top ten. Although oh, Rory is a top ten player, it's like he's just. He's, well, he's, he's just also, had, he's had four it, years off. The so. world rankings are based on stroke play events, not match play events. So. Yeah, true. If, if yeah. it was match play, Poulter would be no world number one. Poulter and Sergio. So, yeah, so you know. I mean, so. yeah. So, so the, the key, the key, one of the key stats for this is that this is a really big, long golf course. So, is is someone going to be able to dominate it with the driving, or do, is the weather just going to completely ruin that chance? Yeah, weather. It's going to ruin it. Yeah, I think whether it's the same as when they all played it when Sam Bur- was it Burns won at Pebble Beach? Who won at Pebble Beach earlier this year? Daniel Burns. Daniel Berger? Uh, Daniel Berger. Daniel Berger. Burns came really close or something, didn't he? Um, yeah. Anyway, that, that goes to show that all the, the guy that won or the top three you were, they were below 30th in the driving stats. So it goes to show when you're playing in that sort of conditions, on those coastal courses, it's not favourable, is Plus it? Plus, it's the Ryder Cup. It always comes down who can putt the best. Yeah. That's literally but what it comes down to. It, Whoever it, can it, hold it. Them. But it's, it's, it's an American crowd. Uh, I mean, oh, they, no. They, they... <laughs> we beat them in America, like, the last two times no, out of we, three. Like... <laughs> we haven't. Well, I don't well know. we have, but we've we also did, had... We did it in 2016. Yeah. yeah, but then we won in 2012. And in 2008 as well? Yeah. Yeah. So, but we've from won looking, like five but, of the last seven. If we win yeah. this, we'd have won like eight of the last ten. Yeah, but the impression yeah. I've got from the first couple of days is the American fans seem to be much more receptive of the European team because there isn't any fans. I, and I think yeah. that's that's a weird one. Whereas normally they get hyped up because of the away fans, European. Whereas they none of them have seen. Obviously, the hype will start tomorrow, but. It seemed very subdued. They seemed very welcoming. There's not much. Yeah, but I also think the Europeans are playing into that because they don't really have anything to lose. Because literally, if the Americans don't win it this year, then what? They're never going to win it. No. no and the, Amer- the Europeans are just running around with cheese heads on their head and like signing <laughs> stuff and just being like, well, I mean, "Who cares?" That, 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 that's one way. That's one way to win the locals, though, isn't it? Really. 100%. So if you do when you when you turn up and try, and try to just be ridiculous on the on the warm up day. And try to get the locals on your side for, for the next day. I think that these are some sneaky, sneaky tactics by the Europeans. I do think the Americans will win. No. But, but I would say the, the Europeans have nothing to lose because they're such underdogs, so they're going to play with no pressure. And two, well, the Americans will have all the pressure on them for that as well. And then um, I can't, I forgot my second point. That's basically it. Oh, yeah, the Europeans would typically play for each other and are a lot more but, in tune as a team whereas the Americans are tend supposedly, not to be. supposedly the, the Americans have managed to figure things out they say that every Brooks year <laughs> according to the latest Brooks Koepka interview there is no 
uh, animosity in the team. We, Darren, I, I want, bet I, you he pairs him and Bryson together. Bet I he does. Oh my god, that. Can we talk about who we think is going to be the best pairing? Because I mean, what was it? The last one, uh, Molinari and Fleetwood, absolutely dominated. So who who do we actually think is going to be the best pairing this time around? For what you. you... Europe or US? No, just just overall for, for for both. Why not? Why not for both? Justin Thomas and whoever he's paired with Morikawa will be the top. That's what. And I'm then say. I think you put you'll either put Bryson with Brooks just for fun, which I'd love to see. I don't think he will, but he will. He'll either put him with like I think you put it with Bryson and Justin together because then Bryson can just whack drives, and then Justin's one of the best approach players in the world. So that plays into that. Um, I reckon on the European side he'll stick Rory and Shane Lowry together because they're Irish he'll probably play Ram and Garcia together just because they're Spanish uh, no I, I don't want to see that I don't I, I want to see I, I don't want to see them just sticking together because of nationality but they're both good yeah and they have oh. that connection they're friends from when they were like younger well, especially Rory and Shane Lowry yeah they've, they've been friends since they were like eight or something I'd want to see Ram I, I, and Hovland I, 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 I'd want to see. I'd want to see like. A, I'd, I'd want to see like a Fleetwood and a Macroy together. So let Macroy whack it off, and then Fleetwood can almost finesse it onto the green, which Rory sometimes can't. No, well Shane Lowry is like one of the best wedge players in the world. When he when and he's they, feeling and it. they get on really well, you know, which is underrated and how important that is. I think he'll mm. play Victor Hovland with someone more experienced like Poulter. I don't think he'll work with someone who's only played one Ryder Cup. I think I think Victor Hovland and Paul Casey might be quite a good pairing. Yeah, he'll, he'll put Victor Hovland with someone, one of the older guys. He'll put him with Lee Westwood, Paul Casey, Poulter, or Garcia, mm. one of them with a bit more experience. Um, yeah. uh, he won't play Viesberg or Fitzpatrick anyway until he has to in the singles. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just, just like flipping Burger and Scottish Sheffield probably aren't going to play until the singles. Yeah, but so, Sheffield is one of their best match play people. So yeah, Sheffield Sheff, Sheff, <laughs> did really well at the at the match play event at the, the W was it the Dell one? Yep. Um, earlier on in the year. Yep. But then you've got to manage the egos of everyone else, who's a much better player, and if he's not playing them, which isn't an issue for the Europeans, never has been, always has been in the state for the United States. I've seen I've seen a lot of um, a lot of hype around Xander Schauffele in the in the build up to it, saying that he's going to be one of the best performers. I, I I don't know if I quite believe it. What are your thoughts? He did well at the he did well at the Olympics, <laughs> but I, I, to me, I just feel I just I no. feel like the speed is going to be more critical because he's just someone who can just catch fire with the putting. For, well, no, know, it's match play. Else. You need people who can not throw stuff away, basically. So who can ever, whoever can save par and can putt well. Yes, like a Spieth. Yeah. <laughs> but then Spieth always got a massive mistake in him off the tee every other hole, so. Yeah. So, I, I think it all just depends who it, he plays. If it's he just plays, so like, material. If he, if he ends up playing in a group with, like, John Rahm or something, then he, I think he's in trouble, but... Mm. Um, so I'd, I'd, I'd almost be inclined to go heavy and say, you know, pair, pair a Spieth with like a Dustin Johnson because Johnson is generally good off the tee. I know he's been having a few issues. Not really yeah, that's, that, that works for the foursomes, <laughs> but then for the four ball, that doesn't mm. change anything. Yeah. Oh, it's, 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 it's a tough decision, isn't it? <laughs> well, they've got so many good top 10 players to choose from, haven't they? That's the you haven't even mentioned Morikawa, your favorite player, even yet. So, yeah, mm. no, but the thing is, Morikawa is going to be dependable regardless of who you pair him with. Sometimes I think his putting isn't always there, which is why do you put them uh, pairing with Steve then? Potentially, um, I, 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 I just think he's going to be really reliable. I just don't think he's got his, he's got, I don't think he's going to be. One way or the other, it, who's going to be fine and who's going to be your top performer from each team? Um, I'm probably going to go with the Spieth being the top um, US performer, and 
I want to go with John Rahm being the best European performer. I just feel like he's still got a bit of a chip on the shoulder for not winning best player of the year. Missed the cut in his first tournament back. Yeah, it doesn't matter to me. I think I think I think he's still he's still too good, and he's been in such great form this year. He's gonna wanna he's gonna wanna do something at this one. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd say Justin Tom. Rahm. I'd say yeah. Justin Thomas. He's right. he's there, Mister America, isn't he? he he's mm. like the center of that team, and he's helps. He's one of the best wedge players in the world, I suppose. So that helps. And I, I can't not say Poulter. He's going to play every single match. Yeah, like, um, and then my most underrated leading on from that, I think Shane Lowry is going to be mightily impressive and surprise people. Open champion, if he gets the chance to play, this course is perfect for him because it's going to be windy. He knows how to play in that. He's won an open in that. Mm. Great wedge player and putter. If he gets the chance to show it off, Sebastian. Well, oh yeah, John Rahm, I think as well for the best. Yeah, in the states, I'd probably go JT as well. He's the substitute, Captain America. <laughs> because um, oh, they left the best one at home um, <laughs> which we won't comment on um, but then I'd go underrated or probably surprise I think Lauer is probably a, a very good shout and I think over in the US I think the surprise package actually might be Bryson because everyone's expecting it not to be his conditions not to be that so it wouldn't surprise me if he Turned up, but then equally, it wouldn't surprise me if he doesn't really care and he's more interested in the long drive next. It week. wouldn't surprise me if he's the best player there or the worst player there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's not. He's not going to be in between. He'll be the worst <laughs> or the best. There's nowhere in between. I surprise package for me. I'm almost inclined to go with like a Fleetwood because he can turn it on for these sort of events. He's done it in the past in the Ryder Cup. Um, and it once so, though when we absolutely blew them out. Exactly. So, so it's just about getting on a roll, isn't it? So, yeah, but then you need that for someone like that. You need the whole team to be balling out, firing. Yeah. Which... I think the pro- the problem is for the US. You're comparing the US team on this season form. Yeah, the European team. You're comparing over like the last three or four Ryder Cups because they've all been crap. The, the, bit, <laughs> the, the, the season, so it's, it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. So I, I think I think for me the surprise factor in the US team. Is going to be Kepka because he won one way or the other. Um, because he's had such a up and down season with his injury, but he's so competitive that I expect this to be the only thing he cares about. Whereas with Bryson, sometimes you think sometimes he just checks out. I just don't think they care enough, yeah. But I... like honestly, they just don't care yeah. enough. <laughs> Like Bryson, or Bryson injuring his hand last week, training for a long drive, like five days before the Ryder Cup, shows he's not that bothered. If you were truly bothered, you would not be training for a long drive. I, mean, I just can't imagine. It's, it's just so stupid anyway. I mean, it just goes further to add to my point of why I don't like Bryson. I think the world will eventually realise. Um, you don't like and, him because he's doing long drive? Yes. What? What? Because <laughs> he's trying to grow the game. You don't like him. How is he trying to grow the game? By bringing spotlight to another area of the sport, which is accessible to other people and quite exciting, and hitting as far as he possibly can, which people like to see. But leave that to the other guys. Just what, why? You, you, he's he, bringing, he, he needs he's to bring he... all his viewership to that. That's the point. Oh, that's such... You need someone to do that. It's not going to get the viewership if someone like him isn't doing that. I just don't like him, full stop. I just, uh, you don't like just, him because he's smarter than you. He's richer he, than you. He, he <laughs> he's still got working knees. Yeah, but so is pretty much everyone else. Tom. <laughs> that <laughs> last point. No, that everyone last else is a rich, is... rich millionaire with a PhD in physics or whatever. Everyone else under 60. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got but, is <laughs> what is it that I just don't understand? And don't give me this some spiel about him being against the spirit of the game. No, or it's rubbish. a stubbornness, Tom. Because he said it once, he's now too stubborn and too forthright to come back on his word. 
That's why I'm asking him why. Other than just, because it's he gets like the spirit it, of... It's just, it's just such a niggly feeling that everything he does just irritates. Like, honestly, like the stuff that he does, if someone else did it, I generally think I'd be very impressed. Like you know, the attention to detail with the the attention to detail with the putting, the, put, uh, team the putting stroke, you know, the the statistical approach. You know how much I love uh, statistical approach and analysis. If anyone else was doing it but him, I think I would absolutely love that player. <laughs> so what just, is it about him? I don't know. It's just, just is it the just flat cap? Is that what it is? <laughs> the farm again, the flat cap. It's, it's, I, I like it on other people. I really like it on Idris Elba. Do I like Owen Bryson? Okay. No. <laughs> Strange comparison, but okay. <laughs> I mean, how many famous people wear flat caps do you, that you can name off the top of your head? Tommy Shelby. Daniel Craig. In real life, not Daniel, in... Not Daniel, in Daniel, okay, sorry, Daniel Cillian Craig. Murphy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every, every Millwall football club fan. <laughs> every single one. <laughs> Be careful the, where you say that, Seb. You're the, vast majori- the vast majority of Somerset. <laughs> farmers. That's, that's, no, that's also famous. No one dislikes farmers, apart from the EU. And the Indian government, but okay. The Indian government? Okay. That's a very far out reference that's going to get us banned in India, but okay. <laughs> Yeah, you have to have viewers in India to be banned there, so we're fine from that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you need that. But, it's uh, fine. They, 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 they won't look this far back to um, to, to this one reference to ban us. <laughs> <laughs> if someone gets this far into the podcast and they want to have a complaint, let us know. That's fine. We'll take that. If you got this far in, you've done what... A- <laughs> if, if you get this far in, write that write you support the farmers' protest in the comments. <laughs> Plow those fields. Um, <laughs> um, but one of the other things was obviously a big debate the last couple of days is betting on who do you think will have the winning putt? Not which team, what player? And it's a big debate on this. People are like, there's is that, theories, is that really a big thought. debate? Yeah, lots of theories, lots of thoughts. Like, well, no, because usually when you get to, down to Sunday, you either send all your best players out first or last, basically. Yeah, so that, depending that's on if the you're debate. Or losing. Yeah, so some some people are guessing like your likes of Burns and stuff like that, or other people are obviously going Morikawa or JD or whatever it might be, or DJ. Sorry. So it's it's an interesting mix. Winning putt. Well, since I've already said, I think the US are going to win. Unfortunately. Go on. <sighs> Who's going to play like in that like eighth spot, eight to tenth spot? That's the question, isn't it? It's going to be someone like Tony Fee now. Yeah, Tony Fee now. Yeah, trust Tony to not win anything for like two and a half thousand days, and then doing two things in a month would be typical. Yeah, it? it's like. A- <laughs> The famous saying, it's like a London bus. <laughs> you wait for one and two come along at once, Sebastian. Yeah. <laughs> but the first London bus came when no one else was competing. <laughs> I, I could also see Tony Fiel having the winning putt and then missing it. Yeah. Just to capitulate his whole story. It could I could imagine it being 13 all, he's out last, matches tied, yeah, or whatever. And he's got like a four footer and he just misses it. Yeah, I think it'll be Rory. Rory, they'll oh, send okay. Rory out first, though. Yeah. First or second, he always See, goes out early on a Sunday. But I think we'll be I... so far ahead come Sunday, it'll be done early. <laughs> we didn't need to want every single match. <laughs> put so out there. I, put out there. I, I, I do, I do think um, Europe is going to win. Just for the just for the storyboard moment, Patrick Harrington. He's not going to play you, moron. The captain can't putt. That's oh, yeah, not sure. how it works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah. oh. Graham McDowell, only... the, the vice captain, will step up as well. If 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 only if only you could see. So he right those golf really well. Uh... Yes. <laughs> I, I, I like the thought process though. See, I can guarantee yeah. no one else has thought of that. Yeah. Oh, I guarantee you. it's impossible. I, I I was just thinking of you know what would look good on a news article because is this just impossible to predict? Yeah, what would look good on a news article is like Ian Poulter doing the yeah. winning putt when it's tied at the end. 
I'll tell you what wouldn't do look you know good what? is I'll, the Euro I'll... breaking the rules and letting the captain putt. <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah, <wouldn't that's> <laughs> that, that would be amazing. Um, I'll go someone old, Lee Westwood. All right. I, don't, I would love it for it to be either Lee Westwood, Sergio Garcia, just because they're Lee Westwood's like breaking the amount of appearances. Sergio Garcia's got like, the most Point ever record. points. Yeah. Or Victor Hovland, just because he's so cool. I just, I just love it. He's got, you know, he's just. He's just, he's just a I, cute I guy, this. isn't he? He's just funny. I said, I, said, I, said, I said this back in the day, that Victor Hovland and Colin Morikawa are just really, really cool. <laughs> yeah, I, really, I, really I, cool. I think I might start a fan page on Instagram. You know, His little face will just light up and he'll just be like, yay. So what, what, <laughs> yay. So yeah, so yeah, for clarification, what do you like about Victor Hovland? He's just a nice guy. He's a really nice guy. He smiles all the time. He's, he, he's so friendly. You, so he's you, friendly. You, so you prefer a golfer who's just nice versus one that's calculated, scientific, analytic, right up your street. Has won a major. Has won a major and other stuff. And enters in other but, competitions but, to grow the game outside of the normal golf. But, but Victor's a really nice guy and he was friendly to those Japanese kids at the Olympics. Done. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and plus, you know, he's just not an absolutely massive bellend. <laughs> there's no evidence or can back it up. Right. I mean Bryson does have that sort of aura where you're just like yeah which, the question which is I understand, which one, who, who, but... who would you go for a drink with Bryson 100% really he is the oh, most... no, Victor Hovland, 100%. Why? He'd get absolutely on the lash. He'd be yeah, no, no, he would. But who, who's the most unique person? Who's different to any other golfer? Bryson. Bryson is Bryson the same as every bore other you to that death you have on a, a pub. Course. He'd be sitting there going through the physics of a flipping golf ball flight for about 45 minutes while you're four pints deep because you can't put up with it anymore. And you, you are lying. You're lying to me, especially Siab, if you tell you wouldn't enjoy that. <laughs> I'm not lying to you. I would just have enough. Can I, can I keep... point out for people that don't know, Seahab today on LinkedIn shared an exam paper about maths and physics. It was actually a mathematical lug analysis. Um, yeah, and yet you're denying that you wouldn't want to go for a pint and talk about it with one of the best golfers in the world. No, I wouldn't, because what one he thing doesn't I drink, do LinkedIn... Sebastian, obviously. Of course. A pub is a <laughs> yes. place with alcohol, so yeah, you might, if you didn't know. I, I said a drink. I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't imply they had to be alcoholic. Um, it would but, be to uh, fucking burn with Bryson. Um, <laughs> I, I think with Bryson, you'd have, need, you need something stronger, mate. Um, <laughs> Bottle of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> not the avenue, not the stronger I was thinking, but, uh, but yeah. Um, I think the best uh, people I, I, to actually go for a drink, though, would be like Rory and Shane Lowry because they're Irish, and then like I, Ian Poulter just because I feel like he'd be absolutely well, hilarious. L- Lowry, I think, I think is Ian like, Poulter Lowry's would just do something <laughs> I, th- I think Ian Poulter would just do absolutely something ridiculous on the night that you just couldn't get away with. Now, have you not seen the videos of Shane Lowry almost falling out of the grandstand? You know what's the you know the game they play in Ireland like the hockey, but they keep hit the ball up. Celtic, yeah, Gaelic football, Celtic whatever sticks called. or whatever it's Celtic, called. Celtic, yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> that one. He's, yeah, that he's, one. He's in a box with his mates, and he's so plastered, he almost falls out into the tier below. <laughs> who, who hasn't been there, Seb? It was two. <laughs> it was two days before a major. Is that the major that he won? <laughs> no, it's not. That. <laughs> he did, he did it would not the, surprise me. He didn't make the cut. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that also doesn't surprise me, but. He's a man of the people. Yeah, I think I, he is a man I, of the people because no... he went to the pub straight after he won the Open. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the only person on the U- on, on the US team that I would that I would go out on a drink with is just Colin because he's cute. Exactly, he's just he's just nice. He's sweet. He's a winner. He's rich. He's going to pay for all your drinks because <laughs> he's that nice. Do, do, do you think? Do you, do you think Spieth Bryce... or J Spieth or JT? Spieth and JT, uh, yeah. Spieth, but, yeah. Spieth, Spieth, I guess. Spieth, I would go with. And but JT. if you went with Bryson, I guarantee you, Bryson would get the calculator out to calculate exactly how much you spent on your drink, then make you pay for it. Whereas uh, Colin and Spieth would pick up the tab. Or would you not like to be wedged in between Bryson and Kepka? No, I, I <laughs> would. Just for the thing that I'm trying to incite a fight. <laughs> <laughs> 
start <laughs> whispering, Brooksy, yeah. Brooksy. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I, mean, I mean, if if I, if I wanted to see some more fake drama, I'd watch the WWE more often. But you know, You're so sour. <laughs> no, I, that is fake. It is fake. I agree with him. It probably started a little bit. Now it's uh, it's definitely uh, it's, it's both of them just driving it to get the, that PGA fund, get that forty million on. split. Which, yeah, exactly. Interestingly enough, Paige Spranick is actually the most followed golfer in the world. Oh, she is. Yes, I saw that. Well, it's, um, that's and correct. Why. She has no chance at any of that money. That's correct, and it's not correct, though. Have you not seen it? So that's correct only for Instagram. Across all social media platforms, she's not even in the top 30. I guess across Tiger, all it would be Tiger, wouldn't it? Tiger's top by a country mile on all platforms. Though, it? yeah. yeah, it's Twitter, Facebook. I imagine Facebook's quite other. big for Tiger. Yeah, yeah, but like, then, yeah, but then they've had however long to build that where she's only been going for two years. And yeah, but, but, she, yeah, but the, the problem is the vast majority of her followers are not interested in golf. I don't know what you mean, Sebastian. I don't know what else they would be looking at. Have you not, have you not seen the clip where they've... Like, have you not seen the outtake where she completely shanks it off the tee and hits her cameraman? <laughs> I have not. I, I don't I follow think, her I, in any capacity. I think that's exactly, I think I that, I that's exactly I don't, the it was, point. If someone else liked her, I saw it. I don't follow her. I think, I think that's exactly the point that Thomas is alluding to. Um, mm. Let's just say Instagram is a very visual platform um, and Facebook and Twitter it's aren't. for old people. Yeah, Facebook, Facebook is for old people now. For, I still for use the, it for the marketplace. The golfing purist would use Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> to watch old clips of the Ryder Cup when Europe the lad win. on a weekend in Portugal would use Instagram <laughs> and follow a page <laughs> yes yes there we go <laughs> there you go well but finally well we'll round off though with obviously predicts I know we've heard it loosely but but scores Tom, what's your final points. prediction and scores go Tom go I'm going to change my mind I actually think Europe are going to win um, <laughs> I think they're going to win 15 and a half to 12 and a half okay see you up. I mean that's what I sure how, do you know how the scoring works see yeah. because she didn't I know how very, the, the captain couldn't idea. actually play so are you yes. sure you know how it works I, I've, I've read enough articles uh, okay. predicting um, winners um, <laughs> just not about the rules <laughs> no not about the, the, <laughs> fun, the, there's not very many guides to the exact rules um, I think the captain can't play is quite obvious from what I'm saying. <laughs> it's not written anywhere. <laughs> they just hist- they don't need to. Yeah, historically, yeah, I, they've I, never I... played. <laughs> okay. Um, see, I, I thought it would have been a, a, a tight one with Europe winning. So I would have gone 14 and a half and 13 and a half. Interesting. Um, I, I've, I've said a European win all along. Yeah, I'd be I would be Europe as well. And if I'll probably go the same score as Tom. I think it'll be close, but I think the last on the they'll push it on the last day. So yeah, I think they'll send out all their best players early on the Sunday and get like a healthy lead, and then they'll just hold on. And then so. and then Padre can come on for a ceremonial putt. Well, he said he's going to get a tattoo if they win. So, yeah, he has. I've seen. I've seen. I've seen that. Just, just not anywhere saying that he can't putt or play. Uh, well, if anyone's That's still it. listening and would like to confirm to see how for sure that the captains cannot putt, please do <laughs> um, put that down in the comments. Yeah, put that down. Uh, but otherwise, we'll we'll wrap it up there. Don't forget to yeah like and subscribe. And thanks for listening. <laughs>